गुड मॉर्निंग एंड डॉक्टर रविंद्र प्रसाद सीनियर एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर ऑफ बी एम इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंडोलॉजी आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे मॉथ पार्ट ऑफ इंसेक्ट एंड इट्स मॉडिफिकेशन एज यू नो इंसेक्ट आर फाउंड इन इको सिस्टम एज ए पेस्ट ऑल्सो एज एनिफिशियल इंसेक्ट ऑल्सो and mouth as we know in any organism it is used for ingestion of food and ingestion of food is essential for survival of any organism so in the case of insect also so what are the what is mouth and what is the parts of insect and uh, in case of insect there are so many types of mouth parts there and depending upon the mode of feeding types of mouth parts also changes mouth parts what are the major appendages in mouth may major parts of mouth the, the main parts are mandibles maxillary labium labrum and hypopharynx mandibles are primary jaw maxillary are secondary jaw labia is lower lip labrum is upper lip here is hypopharynx just it is its function is just like tongue in human being mouth parts of insect vary to a great extent among the insects of different groups depending upon their feeding habits so feeding habits of insect or variation in feeding habits of insects is guided by related by the type of mouth parts they have there are there are many many two type of insect are there mandibulate type of insect and hostulate type of insect mandibulate type of insect feeding mainly on solid food there has to late type of feeding mainly food on liquid liquid food that means the insect which feed on solid food they have many late type of mouth part and the insects which feed mainly on liquid food they have host late type of mouth part modification of insect mouth parts or mandibular type in case of mandibular type generalized or typical biting and chewing type of mouth parts that is grasshopper and crabgrass example is grasshopper and crabgrass chewing and lapping type of mouth part are found in honey bee and mandibulo sectorial type of mouth part are found in ant lion grub hostulate type of mouth part in case of hostulate type of mouth part different modification are there that is piercing and sucking pierce uh, rasping and sucking a sponging type and siphoning type in piercing and sucking that is hemipterus that is piercing and sucking mouth part are generally found in hemipterus insect pest those insect pest which are which belong to hemipterus order or order and the typical example of that very is plant bug or any bugs in piercing and sucking type all are also found in dipterus uh, larvae the pterus insect or mosquito type the example is mosquito and rasping and sucking type of hostulate mouth part are found in thrips and various sponging type of mouth part are found in house fly sponging type of mouth part is in mouth and butterflies are found in uh, mouth and butterflies insect mouth pieces from right right is chewing adjacent adjacent to the chewing type of mouth part is piercing and sucking and then a, a, a siphoning which is found in mouth and butterfly and then a sponging which is found in house fly and these are different region the, the, the different of appendages of mouth parts in different type of 
moth parts. That is in grasshopper, in butterfly, in horsefly, and in musk mosquito. And these are different diagram of different uh, major appendages of moth parts. This is line diagram of different appendages of sub appendages of major moth parts. Then biting and chewing type of moth part, which is cockroach, grasshopper. It is the primitive type of moth part and consists of the following parts. Consists of these parts, this is labrum. Labrum is the upper lip of the insect. It is flap-like, bi-lobed and attached to the clypeus by an articular membrane through which it articulates. Labrum helps to pull the food into the mouth. It holds the food in position so that mandible can act on it. It forms the roof of the pre-oral food cavity. Labrum is the upper lip. This is the diagram. Anterior muscles, posterior muscles and torum. Then labrum epipharynx. Pharynx. Inner surface of the labrum referred to as epipharynx. It is frequently membranous and continuous with the dorsal wall of pharynx. It is an organ of taste. Epipharynx is organ of taste, just like tongue in human being. This is different sub parts of major uh, parts of the mouth of insect that is labrum, mandible, maxilla, hypopharynx, labium, etc. Then mandibles, paired structure which are articulated with the help of two muscles, abductor and abductor muscles. They are first pair of jaw. Mandible are the first pair of jaw that is known as primary jaw and they are also called as primary jaw or true jaw. Mandible are true jaw. Mandible articulate with the cranium at two points. Since it, it articulates at two points in the cranium, so it is known as dicondylic. These are two types of, there are two types of teeth. Distal or sharply pointed are called incisor or cutting teeth and the proximal teeth are called molar or grinding teeth. So they, are, they act transversely to bite and grind the food into a small fragments in order to send into abdomen for digestion. This is the structure of mandible, abductor muscle, abductor muscle. In, inside of mandible, molar uh, cups and incisor cups. Axis of mandibular movement, it is dicondylic. Maxillae. Maxillae are paired in secondary jaw or accessory jaw and more complicated than mandibles. At proximal end, the first scleroid cardo joins the maxilla to head. The second scleroid is called a stipes which are to place with cardo. Astypes carries a lateral right called palpier, which bears a five-segmented antenna like maxillary pulp. On the distal end of the stipe, a stipe, there are two lobes. The outer lobe is called galea and the inner lobe is called lacinia, which is toothed in a structure. Maxilla direct the food into the mouth, they hold the food in place where when the mandible, mandibles are in action, they act as axillary jaw and assist in mastication of food. These are the structure of maxilla, cardo, stipes, lysenia, galea, pulp, point of articulation is single in case of maxilla, but in case of earlier we have discussed dicondylic in action. Hypopharynx, it, it functions as tongue. It is a tongue-like organ. It is located centrally in the 
free of gravity, ceramic gland duct open through it. This is all about the holistic diagram of each and every part of mouth, part of a typical insect. Labium, lower lip. It is composed of a structure formed by the fusion of two primitive segment, segmented appendages. It consists of three Mendelian, median ascleroids, that is sub mentum, large, large vessel ascleroid, mentum, middle ascleroid, and pre mentum apical ascleroid. On the lateral side of the uh, pre mentum, there are two small lateral ascleroids called palpigar, bearing three segmental labial palp, palpi. Distally pre mentum bears two pairs of lobes. The outer pair of lobes is called paraglossa and the inner pair of the lobes, glossa. Both pairs when fused are called ligula. Diagram is here. Labium. This is diagram of labium. Points of articulation is shown in the upper portion. Then submentum, mentum, pre mentum, glossa. From mentum, pulp is when uh, topaglosa also emerges, and the uh, in frontal region of the mouth part, the glossa is there. And chewing and lipping type of mouth part, which is found in honey. Labrum and mandibles are in uh, are uh, as in a biting and chewing type of mouth parts, but mandibles are blunt and not toothed. They are useful to crush and shape wax for cum building. Ingest pollen grains and other manipulative functions. Maxillolabial structure are modified to form a lapping, lapping tongue. The tongue unit consists of two galia of maxilla, two labial pulp, and an elongated flexible hairy glossa and labrum. In case of chewing and lapping type of mouth part, the glossa terminates into a small circular a spoon shaped lobe called a spoon or button or flap. Labellum, which is useful to make the nectar. Generalized mouth part, which is labrum, mandible, hypophonyx, maxillary, and labium. And they are uh, clearly uh, visualized here as a separated organ, separated uh, part of the mouth. Here also, your diagram is there of the mouth part of any V type. Insect and mandibulo sectorial type of mouth part which are found in grub of antlion. Mandible are elongate, sickle separate, and grouped on the inner surface. Each of the maxilla is elongated and fits against the mandibular groups to form a closed foot canal. The body of the insect victim is pierced by the opposing mandibles and fluid are. Extracted. This is the ant line. Piercing a second type of mouth part, which are found in hemp pierce, insect, this is bug type of plant above or any bug. Labium, labium projects downward from the anterior part of the head like a beak. Beak is first segmented and grouped throughout its entire length. At the base of the labium, there is a triangular flap like a structure called labrum. Labium is neither involved in piercing nor sucking. It functions as a protective covering for the four stylets, fascicle found, with, found within, with, within the groove. Both mandibles and mandibles are modified into long, slender, uh, ascleroid hair like a structure called stylets. They are lying close together and suited for piercing and sucking. Mechanism of mouth parts. The diagram is given also here. Then the tips of the stylets may have minute teeth for piercing plant tissue. The inner punctually stylets are doubly grouped on their inner faces. When these are closely opposed, they form two canals, which food canal and salivary canal, through which sap and saliva are conducted respectively. Saliva contains enzymes or toxins that can distort, distort plant cell valve to permit the stylet to penetrate down and reach phloem for the cell. This is the mechanism of 
this type of mouth mouth word. Piercing and sucking, the type of mouth of which are found in dipterous type of insect. It is fly type of insect, there are mosquito type of insect, that is female mosquito. For example, if you female mosquito, mouth parts of female mosquito consist of elongate labium, which grouped from a gutter, which enclosed six stylets. The stylets are composed of labrum, epipharynx enclosing the foot canal, the hypopharynx containing the salivary canal, two maxillae and two mandibles. Both the ends of maxillary stylets and mandibles stylets are saw like and suited for piercing the flesh. Piercing mouth, this is a diagram of piercing um, type of mouth parts. Piercing and sucking type of mouth part. Mosquito, uh, mouth part of mosquito. Piercing and sucking type. The, the, the stylets are inserted into host screen. Uh, in case of uh, female mosquito, by strong downwards and forward thrust of body, both mandibles and maxillae are reduced in male and they are feed on nectar and juices of decaying fruits. Uh, as such, it is clear that moth part of male mosquito is different and moth part of female mosquito is there. Uh, I have uh, earlier discussed the moth part of female mosquito, then we, we should focus on, now focus on um, moth part of male mosquito. Both mandibles and maxillae are reduced in male and male uh, mosquito and they feed on plant nectar and juices of decaying fruits. They are not uh, sucking the bloods from the animal. Female mosquito are only uh, sucking the blood of animals, whereas uh, male mosquito uh, feed on the plant nectar and juices of decaying fruits. Female pierces the skin of human beings into which it injects saliva containing an anticoagulant to keep the blood flowing without clotting and an anesthetic to keep the victim unaware of the bite and suck up the blood. Levion does not pierce but pulls up or back as a stylus pierce. Magjali palpi are present. Then rasping a second type of mouth part which are found in thrips. Thrips is a minute insect paste which are which lacerate the plant tissue and suck the cell sap oozing out from after lacerating the plant tissue. So in this case mouth cone consists of labrum, labium and maxillae. There are three stylets de derived from two maxillae and left mandible. Right mandible is absent in case of thrips. In, in case of rasping and sucking uh, type of mouth part, which are found in uh, thrips, right mandibular is absent. Only left mandible are functional. A stylet are is full to lacerate the slide. Stylets are is full to uh, lacerate the plant tissue and the oozing sap is sucked up by the mouth mouth cone. Both maxillary palpi and labial palpi are present in case of rasping and sucking type of uh, mouth part which are found in thrips. Now siphoning type of mouth part which are found in mouth and butterfly in adult, adult stage of the insect belonging to the abrupterous order. Mouth part of mouth part of siphoning type which are found in mouth and butterfly consists of elongate sucking tube or proboscis. It is formed by two greatly elongated galia or maxillae which are zippered to together by interlocking spines and hooks. Galia are grouped on their inner surface and when they are fitting together closely they form a sectorial food canal through which the nectar is sucked up by the adult insect of Lepidus insect is motor moth and butterfly. This is the siphoning type of mouth part, the diagram of siphoning type of mouth part. The proboscis is called coiled up, like watch a spring, and keep beneath the head when it is not in use. By pumping of blood into galia, the proboscis is extended. The other mouth part are reduced or absent 
except the labial pulp and a small majority pulp. This is siphoning type. This is siphoning type of mouth part. Diagram of siphoning type of mouth part. Now a sponging type of mouth part. This is found in house fly. The, the proboscis is fleshy, elbowed, elbowed, elbow spread, retractile, and projects downward from the head. The proboscis can be differentiated into basal rostrum and distal hostilum. The proboscis consists of labium, which is grouped on its anterior surface. Within this group lies the labrium, epipharynx, epipharynx means enclosing the food canal, and cylinder epipharynx, it is containing saliva canal. Mandibles are absent in case of sponging type of mouth part, segmented medullary palpi, the end of proboscis is enlarged, a sponge lie, and two lobed, which acts as a suction pads. And the diagram is given in left side of a sponging type of host, uh, mouth part that is found in host fly. So, sponging mouth parts, this is the Simple diagram of different sub part of sponging mouth part. Labrum, medulla, medullary pulp, mandible, hypophrenix, and labia. Antenna. This is diagram of antenna. Lateral distal. Antenna, medullary pulp. This is uh, uh, different part of mouth part. They are called oral discs or labella. The surface of the labella are transversed by capillary canals called pseudotrachea, which collects the liquid food and convey it into the canal. Labella function as a sponging organ and are capable of taking exposed dish fluids. These insects often spit enzyme containing saliva into solid foods to the liquefy them. To liquefy them. This is all about different type of mouth part of insect um, you are advised to go through the all about mouth parts several repetition revision will be required if you are having the poor background of biology then you have to go through the whole material repeatedly Revision and revision is required because mouth, study of mouth part is very essential. When we uh, apply different tools of pest management, different type of insecticide for application of justified method and application of pesticide. We must know about different type of mouth parts because my, my mouth part, types of mouth part, part is the guiding or regular, regulatory factor which, which decides the mode of feeding, mode of action of feeding of insect and depending on the mode of action of feeding, mode of feeding, the nature of damage and symptom of damage expressed on the plant is expressed. So study of mouth part, knowledge of mouth parts and their function is uh, very prerequisite for uh, managing management of the pest and uh, the uh, study of nature of damage symptom of injury of the pest. So this is all about different type of mouth parts of a typical insect. Thank you all. Thanks.